Welcome to 714. I got up less than a half an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I get for putting an 18 hour work day in, doing Christmas shit all day, running on four hours of sleep, and then going out and working on the car for four hours. So I got up at uh, 250, so I guess over a half hour ago. But oops. I remember waking up way earlier, which felt like the middle of the night, and I got my phone to see what time it is. And I slid to unlock, didn't check the time on the lock screen for some reason. Um, and I had a screenshot that somebody had sent me as a text, and it opened up. And I looked at that, and I figured that's just what I had open last, and the time was like 11, 14 in the morning or something like that. And I thought, oh, well, I can sleep for a little longer, I guess. And then that turned into like three more hours. So here's what we're dealing with today. The sun is very low in the sky already. Still a little bit of snow, it's mostly melting off. It's probably in the high 30s. And now I have stuff to do today. I've got uh, research participation due for psychology, social psychology to tomorrow uh, by, by 5 p.m. or by 6 p.m. on the 26th, so I'd like to do that today. And I should probably get a foothold in the Christmas stuff here. Uh, there's nothing else I can do with the car till Tuesday. It's gonna be a boring vlog, welcome. I haven't had checks in about eight years, so I'm going to give that a shot this morning, afternoon, evening. All right, it is now 10.57 p.m. Uh, took a little break with my Christmas stuff here. Kenan came over for a little bit. We talked cars. Good time. And now I'm kind of getting back to work. Check it out. Christmas is coming, boys. We got all this stuff on the fireplace done. We got a huge nutcracker down here. I haven't gotten anything over there yet. Uh, we've got my, my sneaky little power solution here. Around the window, into the kitchen, around the door, up on top of the cabinets like Bobby remembered. I've got two of those done. I do not have that one done yet because I need to run lights up there to bring my power over here. The furthest point from the plug is right here. I will have Christmas lights there that find their power back this way over on top of that through here all the way around over down up over down and again across the metal and over here to the original source of the power for everything behind this cart which is a huge mess I'm not going to show you then there's another uh, wire that's going to run back here Christmas tree will go here later then it comes over these doors up here all the way down across the kitchen and ends here and that's plugged in because I've just manually plugged it in with an extension cord there so that will be or this will be a work in progress for a few days and check it out amongst all these gummy bears I'm having fresh cut carrots very good it is 2 10 in the morning and I am just about done with everything I want to do today I got some of these houses set up here there's some other crap that comes out and I'll do that later this is all lit, looking nice. That's done. Over into the kitchen. I got the rest of the kitchen done, with the exception of lights that go around the door and carry power to this, but those lights are broken, so I'm going to have to replace them. So that right now is just plugged in here. But as you can see, like that, manually right now, but everything else, all the way over to here and on top of the windows there, is on this little remote. So when we turn that off, everything in the family room and the kitchen comes off and on like that and the tree will be on that too so the whole downstairs everything Christmas oriented is on this switch the outside lights which I will turn off now are on this switch here beautiful there's two things we have to do and then the candles that go in the windows are in I think it's over here if I can turn on the light they're in that green box all of this is still stuff that needs to go out um, and I'll do those maybe tomorrow or sometime this week uh, and then when that's done, we're freaking good to go. Yeah, buddy. Making lots of progress today. Also did a little bit of work out here. Unfortunately, they had salted some of the roads yesterday, so I had salt all over the bottom parts, uh, like from there down, so I zanoed the whole car, which now looks really nice and is very clean and shiny for the rest of this week, which is supposed to be high 40s, low 50s, little clouds tomorrow, and then sunny Tuesday through Friday, I think, so. That's good, we've got some boxes in here which which are there and uh, you'll see those later. 
Yeah, all right, that's it. I'm gonna go upstairs and uh, try to get some sleep. I'm gonna take off the class tomorrow morning and do it from home. It's better to do it from home anyways. I have more time and I think I work quicker and get more done. Plus I'll be able to get a little bit more sleep tomorrow for Monday, so that's it. Been a good day with a lot of work. Uh, talked to Colt for a while and stuff like that. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. We've got like two more weeks in the semester. Let's get them done.